Podcast Ranger. It's extra time. It's extra time. It's news time. It's news time. Gather all the casters. It's news time. It's news time. It's news time. The only cure for in being ignorant. Not stuff. <laughs> well, we don't have everyone here. Everyone's not here this and, week. And Jack said the guy is going to come in and sue us for like five dollars. Damn it! Now we're going to have to do an episode with Trivia Boy. Hey, if this gives us the attention of Jacksepticeye, I fucking welcome it. <laughs> yeah, it'll also get us the lawsuit of Jacksepticeye. What? He sued no, them. Said, I love <laughs> when he had the whiteboard and then he brought up the mini one. He's like, yeah, you didn't think I came prepared? And I'm just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, the show where we talk about news in the Tokusatsuverse. Yeah, was... I was thinking about the Ultra Ranger like introduction from last week. Alright. Uh, the... Sorry? What's he doing here? Oh, cool. Excellent. Alright. Uh, oh, here, here's the first news story. I, I, I've been catching up on the Power Ranger comic. Ooh, cool. the, the comic covers combine like a mega comic. I know, and they've been doing this for every issue. <laughs> And, man, did the writing actually, did the story itself actually pull its head out of its ass? Okay. okay. Apparently, they made, like, apparently they made, like, Zordon more, like, relatable. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, they're starting to make him more of a character instead of just floating head in tube. They gave him a sad backstory. A sad it's good. That's good because, like, we barely know anything about the guy. <laughs> So, like, it's good that we're getting more explained about him, because, like, fuck. <laughs> he got angry with the rangers. And imagine what the giant, fuck, rangers? Imagine a giant floating head in a tube shouting at you in a reverb. Incoming yelling from the big giant head! <laughs> aye, aye, aye! <laughs> yeah, Rocky has some good development, too. The only character I don't like is Aisha. And since this isn't my own personal channel in Cast Ranger, I can say this, they wrote her to be a bitch. Oh, okay. Oh. It's just, everything she, everything that comes out of her mouth, I'm just, zip, zip, zip. quit being a bitch. Alright. I've ne never seemed like that kind of character in the show, I don't know why they would make such a departure. Exactly. Cool, anyway. On to our first news story, uh, the Toy Tokusatsu YouTube channel posted a teaser revealing that there's going to be a new quote-unquote Kamen Rider x Kamen Rider spin-off, though we already know what it is. Wait, 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 They're putting Kamen Rider crossing over with Kamen Rider? Yeah. Like, oh, goddamn time, if you ask me. Uh, so it leaked, and apparently it's going to be Kamen Rider Spectre and Blades. Considering we just had Ghost and Saber. So, maybe second part of that special? You got, you got your blue part. favorite blue no, boy this is with your good. other favorite blue boy? Yeah, so I'm guessing this is, this is going to be the second part. Since it clearly was not 100% resolved in the one special we watched. It didn't end on a cliffhanger? I wouldn't say a super cliffhanger, but clearly there's something unresolved. Oh, look, that... <laughs> And yes, yeah, so a spot on Necron will be next. The head Spectre always had like the dumbest catchphrase because like his catchphrase was always "I'll show you my way of life," and he said that in his movie right when he was about to rider kick someone to death. <laughs> my way of it's life like, is me <laughs> living and you not living. I'll show you my way of life by proceeding to fucking kick you to death. <laughs> My way of life is me up, me up above, and you six feet under. Ghost was kind of dumb with its catchphrases. I mean, among other problems. <laughs> yeah. So some guy like uh, on Twitter was just like, "Oh, retweet this with like your with your least favorite Tokusatsu character." And without hesitation, I just retweeted a picture of Adele, and I was like, "Worst thing we've ever had in Toku." Period. Oh sweet! According to the video, it's gonna also have Experiment Six Two Seven. No, it's saying that they're going to put out the trailer on June 27th. But her, her, her. There should be a comma in there, or some sort of thing in there, being like, six month, 
27 today. How, how dare you do a Lily Allen Stitch reference without Emily being here? Right? Someone has to. <laughs> That's true. Now I'm just thinking of Experiment 625. You know, Rob Paulson as an alien. The, the Could, sandwich alien? Yeah, the sandwich he, he alien. Sandwiches all the time. His name yeah. is Ruben. Right. All right, cool. Moving on. Uh, Premium Bandai has put up for sale uh, the jackets and accessories of R the Shindai twins, Ryoga and Reika. So if you if you wanna if you wanna wear the the uniforms of Durandal and Sabala, you can buy them. <laughs> they actually should have made them actual twins. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll get into that later. Gross? Ooh. What? Gross? No. no. <laughs> oh. They're no. expensive as fuck and their accessories are expensive as fuck. Moving on. Uh, don't, let's see. Don't buy wider fucking clothes. The, they're expensive shit. The, the, the Shindai Ryoga jacket goes for 29,700 yen, tax included. And the... Uh, hold on, it says Ryoga both times. Oh no, that's the wallet chain is for ninety three fifty. The Reika coat goes for twenty nine thousand seven hundred. Also, all of them shipping in September. Wake me up when September ends. Timely, and that I mean not at all. Premium Bandai, you crazy! <laughs> all oh. right, next. This was interesting. Latest announcement from Complete Selection Modification. Uh, the Deno Belt Movie Edition, which will apparently include sounds for uh, Gao, uh, Deno Wing Form, and both forms of Kamen Rider Yuki. Yeah, Hijack and Skull Form. Did, it, did they really say Climax Cell Phone? Yes. They did? Yes. Nice. I know because I had we had one at one time. No, no, I mean like for CSN. Oh, I have no idea. It'll probably be a separate item. The, the K-Turus phone? Yeah. The k yeah, that, came, that, came with, that, that came with the, de the Deno belt. Oh, okay. Awesome. I would hope so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it makes sense to put these four together in one belt because they all shared the same belt. Yeah. It was... It's whatever the, plate you put on. It's being referred to as the Deno belt movie edition. But by that logic, it should have included uh, New Deno. <laughs> no, because uh, New Deno was just a actual Deno belt, but like painted gold. It had one, it, it had the unique one had, like removable plates. It had a, its own sound. Strike form had a different sound. It was yeah, like, no, but, uh, like, like, like the, the original DX belt for weight for wing form came with uh, Gao's uh, like belt yes. plate. Yes, the original movie belt you could swap between wing and Gao. Yeah, because Gao Gao and both Yuki forms are basically the same like plate. It's just like a square, and then you just scan the pass and whatever. I think Gao's sounds were different than Yuki's because I don't remember being able to be Yuki with the original releases. No, you couldn't. Uh, but it's because Gao used the uh, the Infinity Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gao's sounds were like dark and like Emperor-like and Yuki's were like... <laughs> plus, plus Yuki came out two years after the belt came out. That. Yeah, uh, but I get this just for waveform because I just want to hear the bird go like... I would love to get this just for Yuki. Best Deno rider, unchallenged, in my opinion. You, you know there's going to be... Mine goes to G Deno. You, you know there's going to be a Shin Zarin Zephyr out there, because Zarin Zephyr doesn't do this anymore, so there has to be a new Zarin Zephyr that I have now nicknamed Shin Zarin Zephyr. Shin Zephyr. Yeah, oh, Shin no. Zephyr, who's going to buy four versions of this One belt. for each rider. One for each no, rider. Zarin oh, said he would buy... He, Zarin said he would buy this. There are there are already plenty of other collectors besides Zarin who buy multiple copies of belts. Oh, I, I I still hate the people that buy like multiple Sengoku drivers. And it's like yeah, like one for every Gain Rider, every fucking lock oh, seed. Oh, no, no, but they take it the extra step, like you just mentioned. Oh, it's Jimba Melon, Jimba Cherry. And it's like Jimba Melon. That form never happened. It's like, but then you have a Genesis driver over there. With a melon energy in it, it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, know. it's fucking overkill. People, don't waste your money like this. Anyway, uh, so... Stick to one rider and like him, that's it. Yeah, uh, we don't no, have... Stick to one rider and then which form you like the most out of that rider. Jimba Zarin. 
Uh, we don't have any details on price or release date yet, but it will go up for pre-order on the 29th. So by then we'll have more info and some pictures. So go watch, go watch Deno Final Countdown because that's a fucking fantastic movie. My personal yes. favorite writer film, actually. Don't worry, we'll get it. we'll get into that in the summer. Hell yeah! All right, next. I am super happy about this one. Me too. The Rise of Ultraman coming out on Blu-ray? Stop talking about things that won't be in the finished version. There are ads on this website. <laughs> SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Ikazuchi! Who? Dodo. Which one? The Dodo Rider. It's, uh, it's Sam Raiden. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to say... The eyes on this figure are fucking gorgeous. Like, they're oh, yeah. really fucking nice looking. This is still my favorite suit in all of Zero One. It looks like they yeah, took a that, Dark That still Buster. goes to Metal Cluster Hopper, man. It looks like they took a Dark Buster suit and then modified it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it comes with his Volk Sabres. Uh, it is 6,600 yen, tax included, shipping in November. Now you can have all four members of Metsubo Jinrai. Hooray. Which means they'll probably make a big yards of Kamen Rider Metsubo Jinrai. Oh, probably. They, you gotta complete the Metsubo Sentai. Because, you know, you, you don't want to make a figure or release a product of something that came out before a certain product before that one's even finished, you know? No, I, I stopped listening. Okay, so <laughs> going back to Power Rangers quickly. Uh huh. Go Go Power Rangers was only 32 issues, and it's four issues a volume. They never released the last four volume, four issues yet for volume nine, but they're already making volumes of the two new books. Okay. It's like, wouldn't you have wanted to finish off the previous story first and then release graphic novels of the new books? Clearly, no. This this hap this is less uncommon than you think. Another example is the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. They were dubbing GX, but then they didn't dub season four because they wanted to move on to five Ds. I heard about that. <laughs> That's bullshit. So bad. It's okay. Season four just, sucked anyway. Tomichi Nations, you've given Ichi one more thing he wants. Now just give him Laser X, please. Yeah, fucking and, come on, man. Complete. But yeah, that 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 thing's going right up on my shelf, right up front. It's okay, Ichi. If I could get a renewal figure of, of Deno Platform, you'll get Laser X eventually. Yeah, I believe. I, I'm, 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 I'm hoping. All right, next. Uh, we are getting some more Soto Chronicle Comrade Gaim Gaiden figures, uh, featuring Comrade uh, Zangetsu Kachidoki arms and Comrade Silphy. Yay, the fucking nice rider design, but then she had the stupid veil on her fucking helmet. It looks stupid. Yeah. And we're also getting yeah. Gridon Lychee Arms and Bravo King Durian. Oh, sweet. Wow, a piece of Solomon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proto <laughs> Solomon. What? One step closer to getting Solomon. Yeah. Even though you know we're definitely going to get Solomon. Oh, yeah, but I'm just making a joke of how Bravo's cape ended up becoming Solomon's cape. Yeah. All right. Uh, that sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I, I, I use the magic card, Solomon's Cape. There probably is a Yu-Gi-Oh card with the name Solomon in it. I activate this magic card of Solomon's Cape. Um, so the whole set of all four of these is 5,800 yen. Will be up, and it's up for pre-order now. Yeah, but I have to build it. I'm stickers. I like doing that. If you get it, I'll build it for you. I didn't say why. Like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card that had Solomon in it? That's the name of Yuki's grandpa. Oh, yeah. Wait, Yuki's... Yu Yuki. Solomon y Moto. His name's Solomon. Solomon Moto. Yeah. Is it yeah. supposed to be like Solitaire? I don't know. My grandfather's deck has no... crap cards. <laughs> he says... Wasn't a soul, like, trapped or something? Yes, that was the whole idea with the first season but like was his body gone or like... no it was just lying there slumped over you you can see it at the end of the first episode oh. as yugi's like hugging the tv Grandpa! you can see his body in the other corner he's fucking slumped over 
Yeah, and then you know, the most famous thing ever that always goes in my mind when I think of Yugi is just like fucking him trapped in the TV. Yugi! Who voiced? Was it Dan Green that voiced him in the dub? Voiced Yugi and Yami. I don't know about the grandpa. Anyway, we're way off topic. Moving on. Yugi out. Uh, SH figure it's renewal Kiva Emperor form. Don't we already talk about this? I don't know, but it popped up on my newsfeed, so it's worth talking about again. Oh, no, wait, official images. Yeah, now we have images. It looks pretty good. It's got a cape. It's, it's got it's, two capes. It's a Burkiva. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fucking, it's a, this gorgeous fucking form. It's got two capes. It's got tats a lot on the wrist. It's gorgeous. Like, I, I feel like if I feel like Raven would want to get this figure because so like he he always talked about how much he loves Emperor Kiva. It comes with the Zanvat sword and you can actually move it along the blade. That's rad. You cut out completely. Oh, uh, it's because I was doing the Zanvat standby sound really loudly. So okay, and yeah, as as we talked about previously, he comes with new, new Kiva, or like the the gray eyed version of Kiva to put on new Kiva to make him new Kiva. So. Maybe, that, maybe that's why I'm cutting out because I keep talking loudly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that won't be a problem when you're finally able to be here in person. That's true. Um, so yes, uh, 150 millimeters tall, uh, cloth cape, alternate hands, Zanvat, wake up Wessels, keep out the fourth. Uh, 9900 yen, November release. It's crazy Yay. to think there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna track down another Kiva renewal just to put this to make new kiva to make new kiva yep and if you know anything about renewal figure arts what if you don't pre-order it you're you're fucked arm and leg <laughs> arm and leg for one yeah next uh zenkaiger plushies is this the first time we're getting the kikinoids in their yeah civilian hey. forms okay. i think so I i'm looking at these right now Galon looks fine, Majine looks fine, the humans look fine, but Vroom and Zuran look awful. I I think they look okay. I think Zuran's face is a little, like, squashed down. But other than that, I don't know. Zuran's... Zuran looks like something from freaking Invaders then. Zuran looks like so he was lying on the floor and someone stepped on the front top, the top of his head and squished his face downwards. Now he's upset about it. Oh. <laughs> Rune looks like he's way fuzzier than he should be. It looks like he has an Elvis perm going. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, oh. He does. Our yeah. name is Rune. And Majine's head looks like bat wings. Oh, I know it's supposed to be dragon wings. I am Majine. Yeah, and we're getting not only Kaito and Zox, but also Zenkaiger and Two Kaiser. Yeah. But not the plushies of the other morph forms. You know, I'm just I'm looking at a gif that Jerry just uh, posted, like showing like uh, like Emperor Kiva using uh, uh, the oh, Doga the, hammer. The Doga fever. I feel I feel like each renewal Kiva figure should have came with at least one of the like weapons. That would have been cool. Oh, you know, eventually they're or they could have just the forms. I, I was gonna say they should have just put out like a pack of all the weapons as an accessory uh, kit. Yeah, no, nah, Figure Arts isn't big on accessory kits. Yeah, but there like, have been some. I, some third I, parties. I would want, I'd want Kiva Garulu, like, super badly. And I want Doga and Basha. Basha yes. Kiva. Someone had to like Basha. Basha Magnum! <laughs> few Kamen Rider toys that actually doesn't need batteries. Yeah. It's helpful for the environment. It is. Probably cheap, too. Yeah. Um, so, yes, these each of these plushies is 1650 yen, so that's a pretty good price, and they're releasing July 17th. Oh, that's the first day the Ultraman started. These items are in limited quantities. Get it while supplies last. All right, I'm calling it now. There's going to be an episode of Zenkaiger. Plushy World? Where it's Plushtopia. <laughs> and they're going to have these on sticks. Okay. Oh, probably. Floating around. <laughs> I want it to happen. Yeah. Junko, make it happen. <laughs> Alright. I Wait. want zero budget to this. <laughs> like, I want to see the stick. Talk about selling the toys. Alright, next. 
Uh, Cogs. Yeah, Cogs. It's, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Cogs. It's a two pack. Oh, best thing immediately, their faces slide up so they can do the laser eyes. Oh, it's a separate headpiece. That's amazing. And the best part is, it's easy to army build. Then you get one silver one and one violet. It looks red. It's red. Red, it's red. red velvet. Sure. When are these coming out? Well, the, the description here says bronze and silver. It's not bronze? Yeah, I don't know. That, no, it could be the lighting. It looks red, but it, it could be the lighting. It, 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 looks like, um, it's like, it looks like my grandmother's shag carpet. Okay. She doesn't, uh, doesn't she say have any, a uh, any date yet, <laughs> but if we're getting cogs, when are we getting Quantrons? Uh, after Piranatrons. I was going to say, yeah, Piranatrons would be first, but I would like to have Quantrons. Lane, I was so... I wonder, I wonder if Piranatrons will come with their bike. No. No, they, they, they're, they're not... They're not the movie Piranatrons. If they're, think of it this way. The Galaxy Gliders don't even come with the in-space figures. What a, what a rip. But they are coming. They did say they are getting Galaxy Gliders. So I can hang 10 for I that I was going to say, then we can hang 10. <laughs> Like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, there's no better mook, in my opinion, in Power Rangers than fucking Quantron. Like, look, look at that. Look how fucking sick that is. They are pretty cool. Eh. Oh. I like the ones with the black undersuit better. What's with the bat lift? It's a weapon. <laughs> it is a bat lift. No, if it comes with that, it's cool. I, I will buy a Quantron, because I just, like, I like... I like One the design. Quantron, yeah, it's my, please! It's my but first off, it's an original Mook. So we're there were no those. Quantrons and Mega Ranger. All and, right, uh, and, they're, and, they're, and they're robots. So the Cogs are apparently going robots. to be exclusive to Hasbro Pulse, if that matters. That's fine. Uh, of course. Yeah, uh, and they suck. and they come in, and they do in fact come in a two pack. They're not set like they're not separate silver and red. Yeah, they are a two pack. That is neat. This way you can army build. Yeah. So. When are we going to get King Mondo? Uh, I don't know, but before that happens, we're getting Astronomer and Ecliptor. Yes. I, I, I say Ecliptor is the one character people have been fucking demanding. Ecliptor is amazing. I, I'm still pissed that Hasbro never during their streams acknowledged this release. Yeah, I don't know. This was at a display at the 2021 Wonder Festival in China. I think are because that that like Hasbro Fan Friday thing was dedicated just to the Pink Ranger. But there was I think that's why. But it was there a was specific stream. But there was one before it where we spent an hour and it was just nothing but metallic armor ranger figures. You couldn't have at least told us. Oh, by the way, oh BT Dubs Ecliptor and Astronma two pack coming. Yeah. Like hell, they just Boom Studios just released the comic Air to Darkness that features the two of them as the main characters. This would be the perfect thing to market it with. Yeah, it's like, hey, did you like that comic? Well, here's buy the, the toys. Here's an Ecliptor toy. Marketing, market this shit. Yeah, uh, right. we don't have a price or release date yet, but we probably will within the next couple weeks. I can't wait for them to retool it to make Mecha Ecliptor. Or whatever. Dark Dark Lipter? Yeah, yeah, where, where he had the robot arm. Where he fused with Dark Honda? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it all... Dark Lipter. What a dumb so, name. So when, you, when you got, like, the cybernetic implants. Mm. Where are we going to get Rito? I... Yo, Rito would be cool I, to have. I was, I was saying they need to make a Rito Goldar 2 pack because they're always, yes. like, freaking. Do, do they really need to make a third Goldar release, though? But it yeah, would be him without his wings. Be... Yeah, but they can make it with like his season three design where he had like a different face. I was gonna say they could use they could do it would be him without his wings because it was it was them during that part where they lost their memories and they were hanging out with Bulk and Skull. Because because we already know. Well, uh, let's face it, squat. Yo, Deviant out. though. Jerry mentioned Deviant. I would fucking love to have a Deviant figure. He was rad. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about him. Who? Diva talks is like brother or whatever the fuck. Oh, him. The yeah. one who started the Rescue Zord saga, I think, if I'm remembering right. Fun fact: this you mean the, the this guy? No, no, no. He was from Turbo. For, uh, friggin', oh, what's his name? I, yeah, I had his that's name. Him. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah, I'm thinking yeah, of someone him else. From Lost Galaxy, hang on. Uh, Am I thinking of someone else? Yeah, Power Rangers Turbo. Maybe it's General Havoc. 
Yeah, that's the same. Havoc. Havoc. I mix up those two all the fucking time. It's weird to think that they actually repainted his head. <laughs> Sorry about the confusion. Like, cause like, but yeah, Deviat looks cool too. Like he went from having a gold head, where in the Sentai he had a blue head. What? Yeah. It, wow. It, yeah, that's that's it, Havoc. Yeah, yeah, that's him mm. in Turbo. This is him in Car Ranger. Oh, the blue head looks so much cooler. Yo! Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. And they reversed his suit colors. Look at that. And I'll never forget the time where he sat on the john. The bottom one look makes him look like a fucking astronaut or a Mass Effect character. <laughs> There's only one character I want so badly, like in terms of villains. I want motherfucking if it uploads, please. Do 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 do. Motherfucking Diabolico. I knew that's what you were going to say. Oh, I love him. He's so cool. His voice is just like the best thing ever. I'm if, if you want to talk about Power Ranger villains with the best voices, my vote goes to Mezagog. Yes. yes, he talks like this. Ooh, yeah. Now that's a fucking villain. I like the... Let's get a figure of him. I wouldn't mind having a Gingerax and Toxica 2 pack. Oh, yeah. I think that, they need that, designs. That's the only way that they could be released. Yeah. As a tool pack. Mm -hmm. or, or Master Org. Mm. Sledge and Poisandra wedding tool pack. Now that's, <laughs> now that's a set. Um, that would I be, forgot his name. That the, would be, the, robot, the robot guy in uh, Time Force. Oh. Thrax, I think? Yeah, yeah, Thrax. Thrax. Yeah, and then he'd come with a separate head uh, headpiece that's like him when his eyes bulge out. Or just he just has That'd a button cool. on his back to make his eyes pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give him a gimmick, just... Oh. Eh. And then you make a Rancic uh, and his daughter two-pack. Oh, Rancic would be cool to have a figure of. Rancic would with be removable awesome. plates, see his ugly mutations underneath. Oh, oh you pop yes. off his head and pop, off, <laughs> pop on the mutant head. All right, enough off-topic, Ray. Um, Dude, so yeah. Dark Spectre build a figure one. You mean Malagor? Didn't he? Wasn't that her husband? <laughs> <laughs> you look like my ex. <laughs> All right. Uh, and our last news story is, according to uh, producer Shinichiro Shirakura, the Twitter boy. Yeah. Uh, the upcoming superhero Senki is supposedly going to be the last Common Rider Super Sentai team up movie. So I think we're all in agreement that not one of us believes that for a fucking second, right? Okay, okay, I heard... i surprised if it is. I heard something different. What? I heard this was going to be the last year where they did a Rider and Sentai anniversary in the same year. I mean, I doubt that also. Maybe it was a mistranslation. This will be the last time they ever do a crossover together? Does There's not one person in this fandom who honestly believes this, I think. If it makes money... I, I... Exactly! Also, we saw a quick preview of this movie. Oh, yeah? It's literally just the Kikaidenoids, except for Juran in the, with the Saber cast, and Toma, Rei, and Rintaro with Juran. Oh, boy. It's a swap... It, it's a swap of movie. Yeah. Also, I, I saw someone on Twitter complain, be like, oh, why don't all the other Rangers get together in the movie instead of just the Reds? Let's see here. Uh, 46 teams plus 5, 10 if you count some other teams. Uh, yeah, that's too much money. <laughs> also, I don't think they have enough manpower to do that. Hmm. So I don't know if this is true also, but it was also stated in this interview that they, that they are planning to shift the anniversary for Super Sentai so it can deviate from Kamen Rider. So I think that may be what you were reading. Oh my god. Is that legal? Can they do that? Oh um, my... Are you telling me that they're finally going to make Super Sentai... You know, you know how last year was its 45th anniversary? They're just changing it? Are we actually going to just roll it back the year to have it be on the actual anniversary date? <laughs> I am sold on that. Oh, okay. So it's been incorrect up until now? Yes. Oh, okay. Just blame 1978. There was no Sentai for that year. Ah. 
Cool. All right, well, we'll see what happens, but I don't believe this is the last crossover movie we'll see. Like, like I thought for the long, like, I thought when Lupin Pat came out, they were like, oh, Lupin Ranger's the 42nd team, and Pat Ranger's the 43rd team. Okay, Ryu Soldier's the 44th team. Oh, but And then Zenkaiger went and went, nope. Nope. And it's like, what do you mean? It's like, well, no, we're going by season number. They're the versus Sentai. They're the versus Sentai. Yeah, shit. Because I thought, okay... Here's Super Sentai Psycho Battle. We're going to call that the 34th season. And then Ryu Soldier, or the 43rd season, and then Ryu Soldier will go back to being, you know, 44th season with the 44th team in the 44th anniversary. See, that would have been nice, but no one was under any delusion Super Sentai Smash was going to count. They could have counted. Hell, Zed Cross, as we're going to talk about later, is considered a season. That's also stupid. One one so special <laughs> counts as a season. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's the news. Woo! Woo! Amazing. That's, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Big Bad Beetleborgs Lightning Collection figures when? Yo! Don't even get me excited. That's never gonna happen. No, but still, I'll finally have a chance to re- to own once again the white. <laughs> also, apparent, also some good news about Dino Fury. Apparently, they're just gonna say, "Fuck it, we're just playing it on Netflix." Cool. So at, they're doing what Riverdale does, where it's like, "Here's the episode. Next day, here it is on Netflix." <laughs> nice. Took them fucking ever. Beetleborg. I think Beetleborgs was on Netflix, but I think they took it down. Yeah, because of Saban's contract. I'm like, "Wow, buy the DVDs." Show Factory made them out of print. I'm like, you fucks. Yeah. So, now we have to wait for Hasbro. I'm trying to support the Fisher release, you won't fucking let me! It's just what, like... What it's Beetleborgs. I know it's Beetleborgs! It's just like how I've been trying... Like, a while back, I was trying to buy fucking Mystic Knights of Chernanog on DVD or whatever the fuck. Oh, that's... That's never been on DVD. Yeah, I think it was on, like, an unofficial thing. I saw it on one website, but I never... I wasn't sure about it, so I didn't want to trust it and oh, screw it. Oh, no doubt. It's probably the rips that have been on the internet forever. Yeah. Also, there was some rumor about 30th anniversary Power Ranger movie or something. I don't know. Mm. That's, that's two years away. Like, we are we are still, still supposed to get another Power Rangers movie of some sort, aren't we? Yeah. But it, it's never been confirmed of what the hell it is. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's news. That's the news. Thank you all for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing. We'll see you for next week's news, and we'll hear you on the podcast proper. Leave a comment saying which two-pack you would like to see for Power Rangers. Yeah. The small one, Blue Centurion figure. Never. Yes. He must come with the jacket. (laughs) Okay, bye.